All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as a courtesy to your fellow media members, as well as the coaches and student athletes, please silence your cell phones. Please provide your name and media affiliation each time you ask a question during the press conference. We have a mic in the room, so please ensure you are using the mic each time you ask a question. If you are joining on Zoom, please use the raise hand function for questions. We will address questions in the room first and get to Zoom if time allows. Recording press conferences on cell phones or cameras is prohibited. Now let's open it up to a statement from Coach Gruick, followed by questions for the players. We will hold questions for the coach until the end. All right. Um, I would say happy birthday to Dom, first off. I just want to say that. Yep. Um, family showed up from uh, the check today. <laughs> and uh, so a very special day for her, and, and what a way to celebrate for all of us. Um, Eastern's a really good team. Um, you know, I think the word I, I want to use because of the circumstances, annoyingly good. Uh, you know, we're supposed to win this game, uh, of course. We're at home. We're three seed, all that. And all week long, I'm watching, and I'm like, man, this team's... <laughs> This team causes trouble, and um, I love the way they play. I love the way they compete. I love how gritty and tough they are. They've got an elite point guard. Uh, that's a great decision maker. Um, they can change the way they play. They can go small and cause us trouble. Um, you know, and so I knew this was going to be a really tough game. So hats off to them, not only for a great game, but a great year. Um, obviously very well coached. And um, so uh, it was what I thought it was. It was, um, they disrupted everything early, turned us over eight times in the first quarter. You know, it's been a couple weeks since we've played. It looked like it. Um, and then uh, we settled in. And I, I really liked the way we rebounded. I really liked the way we, we got the ball inside. That was obviously the plan. Um, and so that second quarter was special. Um, you know, Dom was a big part of that. Talia moved to the one for a stretch, and, you know, and showed her leadership. And it was a, a calm presence for us and then we established ourselves and and so um, you know I, I thought today was just um, we ultimately it was what we needed to do and it, it was a gritty tough win and I'm um, really proud of the team and and obviously it was uh, fantastic to play in, in front of Beaver Nation uh, just what a great crowd and so it's just a, a feel-good day uh, for us and uh, one down. Lindsay Schnell, USA Today. Dom, happy birthday. So supposedly this is, that's not the only thing you're celebrating. You're turning 19, yeah. right? But also your family is here for the first time. Can you tell us about that? Were you surprised or did you know they were coming? Uh, so thank you. Um, I knew they were coming. Uh, they told me like five days ago. So I was so excited. Um, they always supported me. So I was so happy they could come and watch me because they enjoyed it a lot. Um, so. I'm having great time, and I'm excited to play in front of them one more time before they leave. Uh, Trevor Denton, KVAL TV. Um, Dominique, uh, when did you know you were going to have an incredible day today? I mean, how early in this game did you feel like you had the hot hand in this one? Um, I mean, I just came in. I did what I was supposed to do, mostly. Um, and then the first shot came in, uh, fall in. And my teammate just created wide open shots for me. So I just, I just shot them. That's it. Um, I feel like this was teamwork. Um, so I'm proud of my teammates and happy to play another game. Here's Reagan, you put a fear into the whole entire Gill Coliseum when you went down. Uh, talk about what happened and how, how does the ankle feel? Ankle feels good. I just stepped wrong. Obviously, it happens um, sometimes. Ankles are like that, but I'm feeling I'm feeling better. Just gonna ice it up and get ready for practice tomorrow. Brenna Green, Coin Six, um, Dominica. Just you just had probably your best game so far in a Beavers uniform on your birthday with your family in the stands in your first NCAA tournament game. Where does this day just rank in terms of days that you've had in your life? <laughs> Well, this was this was amazing. The crowd here never played in in front of crowd like, big like this, so I was enjoying every moment of this game, and it was a big game for sure. Um, Reagan, you're just smiling ear to ear now. I mean, you always are, but especially <laughs> right now, listening to Dominique answer some of those questions. Um, seems like a hallmark of this team is you don't know who's going to step up on any mm -hmm. given night. What does Dominica mean to this team, and what did her performance mean tonight? Oh, my goodness. You all just witnessed it. Um, when 
I feel like Dom is the one that when we go into a drought of some sort, offensively, defensively, she just shows up and the next thing you know, she's blown by her person and taking it to the rim um, and giving us a layup when we need it. We saw that especially when we played Cal earlier this year. Um, she was just a spark when we needed it. And so that's how we describe her off the court too, is just this energetic spark that she brings to our team. And everybody saw that tonight. I mean, just Dom coming off and causing all kinds of havoc um, offensively and defensively. And so we're lucky to have her here and have her on her birthday and get a dub for her today. Um, Dom, before today, what was your best birthday ever? Can you tell us about it? Ooh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a hard question. Um, I don't know, really. Last birthday, I feel like this one, actually, because last birthday I was in the States, but my family couldn't come. So now he are, they are here, and I can play basketball. They can be here. They can watch me. So I would say this is the best birthday I had so far. Uh, Nick Daschle from the Oregonian. Um, Reagan, it, it seemed obvious during the first half that the plan was to get the ball to you inside. Was there – it seemed like there <laughs> – you guys were so intent to get the ball. The windows were so small on those passes into you. Were, there, were you surprised at all at some of the passes that came into you, just given how c closely guarded you were? Yeah, the ball, the goal of the game was to get the ball to the X. And so we've been talking about that all week is just get it to the X, get it to that um, spot on the court where we can just create layups for one another, whether that's someone driving and dumping off to me or someone driving and no help is there, and so they take it themselves. Um, whatever that was, that was um, our goal this week. And so obviously you said it that we started that way and just tried, to, tried our best to pound it in there. Obviously keeping the ball high was super important um, because they have really scrappy guards um, that can just come in and take it from you whenever they want. And so that was super important, just catching high and finishing high um, throughout this game. And so I got blocked once you saw one of those guards come in. So it was just scrappy. It was a fight down there. But that was the goal was to get it there off the dribble. Um, we saw Don do, obviously. And then my guard just giving me great passes up high and keeping it high. Uh, Alec Deeds, registered guard. Um, Reagan, coach was saying the other day that this just feels normal for you guys, even though this was your first NCAA tournament game for a lot of you. What? What about this just kind of felt just like a normal environment for you guys to be playing in and ready for this? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously playing in Gill helps. Um, we're one of the lucky teams that have worked hard all season that we get this opportunity to play in front of our, our, our fan base here, which is absolutely incredible. You all heard them tonight. They are so loud, and they aren't, aren't scared to share their opinions about a call, and so it's so fun to just be engaged with them throughout the game. So that's obviously one advantage that kind of makes it normal is that home game feeling. Um, and then obviously just – Playing together. I mean, we all saw everybody step up tonight. Everybody, um, just about everybody scored. Obviously, Dom having a great night. And then Tamia and then Kelsey coming in like she did in that fourth quarter um, and just killing it. And so it just felt normal where everybody was contributing. Everybody was stepping up. And, of course, March Madness hits in. There's a dial that needs to be cranked um, because it is March and your season could end at any given night. But at the same time, you don't want to switch up anything with it if it's been working all year. And so just continuing to have everybody contribute offensively, defensively, keeping the energy up has been super important. And we're excited to do that on Sunday <laughs> again. Are there any other questions for the players? No? Thank you, guys. You guys are good to head to the uh, locker room. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you so much. Go Beavs. All right, now we can open it up to questions for Coach Ruick. Radio, radio. Coach, you talked about the slow start, turnovers early, then your team went on an 18 to 2 run. What do you think spurned that? Uh, just remembering what we were doing. I think, um, <clears throat> you know, I think Talia had a big role during that stretch. Um, you know, Dom, or Dono, I should say, picked up her second foul, um, and I, I just pushed. Um, T to the one, you know, during that stretch. And I think just her, she had a calm presence during that. And I think that's what we all needed at the time was just to settle down, see the floor a little more clearly. Uh, we were forcing passes, as was mentioned earlier, you know, inside. And then we just executed better. You know, and our, our defense, um, you know, picked up as well. I thought the com the combination of AJ and, and, and Dom was long. Uh, they were very accurate. Ray, we were controlling the boards, and then we established ourselves inside. So I just thought we executed better overall you know, during that stretch. Scott, Brendan Slaughter, BeaversEdge.com. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, you as well. Curious, uh, just your take on after not hosting for a couple years, being back here in Gill. Obviously, you know, you talked about it a little bit in the leading up, but just being back and did it kind of feel a little like deja vu to a few years ago? A little bit. 
a little bit. Uh, the game was closer a few years ago, though, so this felt good today. Um, no, it's nice to have this, you know, back in Gill. And um, we, we were blessed to be able to do this for several years in a row, right? Um, and it just felt like, well, we're, this is going to keep rolling, and then things happen. And, and so, um, you know, to be back feels normal. Uh, in a way, uh, but I'm really excited for our fans that have stuck with us, you know, through a couple down years, and and man, they, they came back in force this year. I mean, I think we're we set we have, we're pay, on pace to set an attendance record this year, you know, and and so for being down, uh, there's something about this team that is so endearing that has just brought everybody out, and um, and so looking forward to getting to do it one more time. Hey Scott. Um Kind of like I was saying to Reagan, you never really know who's going to step up and explode for a huge game. Tonight it was Dominique. Uh, um, what is it about this team that, that allows for that, that allows for it to be a different person each time um, that could step up for you? Well, talent throughout the roster is number one. You know, I mean, everybody has a, a strength and everybody has a gift. Um, you know, then that allows us as coaches to kind of manipulate things towards what the defense is giving us or taking away. And, um, you know, sometimes people are going, sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's a certain type of game. Sometimes it's a different type of game. And, and so we can, we're so versatile in the way we can operate, you know. And so this game, um, you know, with transition was a thing uh, for us. We were looking to run a little bit. Inside out was a thing. They had to double, um, you know, and so that created opportunities on the perimeter. And, you know, Dom's great inside or in transition, and then she's great on an inside out kick out pass, you know, and, and so uh, who knows who it will be the next night, you know, but great teams, I think, have that, have the ability to hurt you in many different ways. And that's been a strength of our program and our team uh, this year in particular. Brenna Green, Coin Six. Just what's going through your mind as you watch Dominica have the game that she has? You know it's her birthday. You know her parents are watching her play college basketball for the first time. So what's just going through your mind? Dreamy just scenario. I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's 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 these types of moments that you know we we hope for for everyone. And so just to to know that, and I just got to see him before the game, um, you know, today, and get to welcome him. Um, I just happened to see him in the tunnel. And uh, I knew they were here, but I just happened and got to see them. And it was, they were so excited to be here, you know. And for Dom being away from home for most of the last three years, you know, they, they're such a tight family. They stayed so close. Um, they came and supported us in Italy uh, in August. So we got to see them and meet them over there. So it was like a reunion a little bit. Um, but you just hope that for someone that, you know, those moments won't be too big or they won't overthink it. And, you know, Dom's just aggressive. That's just who her personality is. And, and that's what we needed today. We needed just an aggressive mindset overall. And she gave us that, you know, so uh, it was that's as good as it gets for, her, you know, best day ever, best birthday ever. You know, that's it's pretty special for somebody to be able to say that and for all of us to share it with her. Uh, Les Garrett, Corvallis Gazette Times. Uh, if, unless I'm mistaken, you're unbeaten in first round NCAA tournament games, 8-0. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> yes. What is the secret to, you know, not showing up on the upset list on the opening day of the tournament? Yeah, uh, execution. <laughs> um, you know, I, everybody's good this time of year, and, and I think those of you who were around, uh, the last time we hosted it was, it came down to, uh, you know, I mean, we had to upset Boise State that night, the way they played. Um, you know, it was a fantastic finish. I think we were down four or something with 15 seconds, something like that, and found a way that night. Uh, I can't remember exactly because um, I haven't wanted to think about it anymore. But these games are the hardest for a coach. Uh, there's no question. Uh, this is a more of a relief than joy for me. I, in the right mindset, it's joy, but my actual emotion is, you know, we have to win this one. Um, you know, you, you can't lose tonight. And, and um, you know, but you could. And so that's what makes it that. And uh, so I think the team just coming out and executing, um, having a week to prepare, you know, I think helps as well. And, and uh, being at home, I mean, all those things add up to, um, you know, I guess wins. Ronald Clark, KMTR. Excuse me if you've already answered this, but you obviously being a coach who lays your hat on your teams being defensive, you know, yeah. stalwarts. Uh, six steals, six blocks tonight. What did you make collectively of their defensive performance? Of whose? Sorry. Yours. Ours, okay. Um, I loved it. I mean, uh, the goal before, I, I, I don't know if it was a team's goal, but I threw it at them. I'm like, let's, let's do our best to hold them to their lowest point total. And I think it was 52 going into today. And they got to 51, I think, or 50, one of the two. And, and so 51, 50, 50. Oh, they got to 53? Dang it. All right, so we were close. But I, I, I knew going into it. 
Thank you. Thank you. Um, so anyway, I, that was, I mean, we talked about how difficult that was going to be because of who they are, their ability to all play one-on-one -on -one and create their own shot. That's what makes that team what they are. So it was going to take a gritty, tough effort, you know, and you're going to have to win all those individual battles, you know, and, and do what we do, which is keep everybody in front of us, make them take a bad shot or a tough shot anyway, and then rebound, you know. And so I thought we would need to do that, but we would really need to be accurate in the way they use ball screens and the way Loetta can, can uh, manipulate a defense not easy, you know, and so I really thought our defensive intensity and our effort overall was was outstanding, you know, against a really difficult team to defend. And so it was, uh, it's who we are, though, like you mentioned, um, you know, it's been our identity all year, and it's the reason we are where we are is this team's uh, commitment to that end of the floor. So it made me happy. We have time for one more question. Brenna Green, Queen Six, just. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that struck me up on the podium was the smile on Reagan's face when Dominica was talking. Just how does it strike you when you see that huge smile on Reagan's face? Because you could just feel the infectious energy from her. You're focused on the cool stuff. Um, you know, th this is why I do what I do. It's actually the core of what I do. It's what I've learned is the thing that matters most. Um, you know, we're, I'm certainly a teacher and all that, but creating an atmosphere where people can reach their potential is what I do. And uh, it's what I work so hard at and our staff does in finding the right people to add to our roster that are going to complement each other so well. And what you're seeing is in Ray is an outward focus that she lives with. Uh, it's what makes her who she is. Uh, she is like that every day. She's happier for others than herself. Uh, she will deflect everything to her teammates, um, and that's not an act. That's who she is at her core. Well, that's also true of this team. That's who this team is at its core. Uh, they celebrate each other more than they celebrate anything about themselves, and they're selfless. And that, that right there is what's allowed me to be as confident as I am in this group, knowing that. And it's also allowed us to grow like we have. I mean, this team doesn't look like a young team very often. Um, and it doesn't look inexperienced, yet we are fairly young, and at this point, we are fairly inexperienced. Um, but they overcome it because they're fighting so hard for each other and they care so much, you know. So uh, that what you just witnessed in Ray is uh, what it's all about to me. It's creating the best atmosphere for your teammate every day, and um, that leads to people and teams reaching their potential. Thank you for being here, Coach. Thank you. Hammond Communications will post a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at ncaa.veritone.com. Transcripts are provided.